jeepers, guys. I think the lieutenant gave us bad directions. We're nowhere near the nowhere near the ocean. If only I had my trusty Garmin Vortex 601 GPS to tell me exactly where we were, what our elevation was, and where the nearest waypoint to the ocean is, we might be okay. Hey, what's up everyone? You, you didn't notice me with the schmog, but it's the good sir night. Today we're doing a review I've been putting off on the Garmin Vortex 601. As you may have noticed, one of the main reasons I put this off is because it does give you your uh, geo coordinates. And uh, letting you guys know where I live and uh, all my private information is a bad idea. So we're out in the middle of uh, uh, bum fortification, is a safe word? Uh, nowhere, and we're doing a quick little review on this. So if my non-existent mysterious floating cameraman could uh, bring the camera over to this cool looking rock, I can go over a lot of the cool things this thing does. So we're not gonna be going uh, too crazy in depth because uh, we're not jumping out of any airplanes, we're not doing any Jumpmaster crazy stuff, but there's a lot of cool things we can do. So, ignoring the shirt, let's get to it. So first and foremost, the power on. I've, I've been recording just a little bit to give you guys a good idea, so let's zoom in here real quick. You see you got the Garmin there. This one's, I did have the 401 prior to. The 401 was pretty cool. However, the 401 doesn't hold up battery as long, so we haven't traveled very far. I got our location listed here. You can see you can drop a nice little map going on. We got the uh, the car, the camera site, and our current location. So if you hold this down this way, it'll tell you like where all that stuff is. So drawing your location, giving you tracks, and helping you backtrack. We got our measurement here, 300. I think it's got four buttons. We got the power, or oh, five buttons, I guess. Power, you got our go-to page. We've got our mark, enter, and then we got our up and down arrows. So if we adjust these up and down arrows, we can zoom in to like 120 meters we can zoom out to like 800 meters 1.2 clicks it goes pretty far out i'm not gonna go too far because i got like a few points and stuff saved on here that i'm uh need to really uh don't really tell anyone look at you guys oh yeah look at that camera from like nine years ago beautiful um there's a backlight if you press the power button give it a little tap bam glow in the dark and that'll stay on until you press it again. If you give the power button a long press, you can go into night vision mode. If you got really good nods, you can enter, um, where should we go? Yeah, yeah, watch mode. Watch mode's pretty cool if you get a chance to use watch mode. If you're just trying to keep track of the time, you don't need to actively be looking at your GPS and whatnot. And then power off, you need to turn the unit off. Easy peasy, right? Go to is gonna be your back button and mark enter is gonna like actually set you between those ones. So that, is, that screen's pretty cool. Ignore the lighting things, the sun is going ham with the clouds up there. But yeah, that's neat enough. If we hit the go to button once, it'll give us our little directional compass. Our final destination, we don't have a heading or a final destination set, so that's gonna be blank. And of course our heading, which is gonna tell you which direction this is facing when it's held uh, down vertically, so we get 45 degrees that way. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah. Neat. Uh, press the button again. That'll take us to elevation. As you can see, the elevation hasn't changed all that much. We did come down a hill bit, but we're at 113 meters above sea level. Oh, I'm getting another tap. And this is your cool little like loadout screen. You can customize this entirely. It is pretty neat. We got our current time. This is all backwards in the camera. I'm looking at the screen. I'm looking at so 12:04. Uh, trip distance, we've only got like 954 meters, so we haven't traveled a whole lot today for this video. But this is great if you're walking around a track and stuff and trying to keep pace, carrying a pack, doing all your hiking stuff. This is a good way to check out your fitness schematics. Movement time, total amount of time moving. It took us 11 minutes and 48 seconds to walk from the car down this hill and all these stairs and get to where we are. Now, on average movement time, not terribly fast. You can uh, beef that up with vehicles, bicycles, all that stuff. Kind of get a good grasp for your... If you press the down arrow, we do get our locations in GMRS. I got that set up. We can press it down one more time. GMRS coordinates and HDMM coordinates. So if you're like really bored and you like this video, you can uh, come out to Bum Fortification Nowhere and take a look. There's a cool cave back over there. You guys can't really see it, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so if you want to come check it out, here's the coordinates. And of course, current movement time is zero because we are not moving. Also, I have it in kilometers per hour. These are adjustable. You can keep it in, a, in more imperial settings. Come on, change. Wah! It says miles per hour, all that cool stuff. It's no big deal. So if you like miles per hour and all that stuff, I kind of just, 
I don't know, I've been out here too long. I've learned all these crazy metrics. You're in the reflection. <laughs> My guy trying to, invisible cameraman trying to remain invisible here. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, that's pretty much all of it. If you press the, if you long press any of these buttons, that changes stuff too. So if we go ahead and we have this mark button here, give that a long press, it'll let us put in a new waypoint. Their location stuff. So if we swap down over here, this is hard to do when you're not staring at it on your wrist. Oh, there's ants. Cool, I've got ants on my arm. <laughs> go here, hit the enter button. It'll give you a list of uh, cool little settings that you can set your waypoint to. Let me find my personal favorite. Yeah, that's the one right there. You always want this guy. That's a cool little setting. And we're just going to make waypoint three. 113 meters elevation at those uh, grids. And bam, now we have a cool new grid coordinate. So if we go back... Oh, right, here's our settings screen if you want to. So if you can set up your waypoints, your tracks, your routes. I'm not going to get too crazy into any of this. Because this thing does do Bluetooth. It does, uh, you can change your GPS units from Glasno and all that stuff. Let me actually pop that open. This is really difficult to do. When your GPS, yeah, you've got all these crazy grid coordinates and stuff going on there. Um, that's for, uh, that's for brains much bigger than mine. Of course, there's Jumpmaster right into that, like I said. My, uh, my overall goal is not to have dramatic vertical elevation changes in my life without safety equipment. So, let's uh, go ahead and some ch -ch -ch next page. Yeah, so now we're back here. Now we got our cool little logo. And let's say we wanted to go back to the car. That is a big ant. Wow, he is the size of my thumb. <laughs> Whoa. All right, sorry. Uh, that is a mosquito on my camera lens. That's cool, too. There's a lot of vegetation going let me see so if we want to go back we're gonna to want to long press our go to button here that's gonna give us a list going on so on our list you got uh, the different waypoints we want to go to waypoint three mosquito go away i will unalive you so we're gonna go hit our enter button once hey yeah mosquito i'm gonna get bit yeah i hope you guys appreciate this video i'm getting chewed up out here we're gonna go down zero three and we're gonna hit go to or no, enter. We want to enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter. I know. I know these things when it's all backwards. Hit enter and bam. Um, arriving at destination. Apparently we are already there. Oh yeah, because three is the one we just made. Never mind. We don't want to go to three. Go back. Edit undo. Edit undo. Edit undo. Give me all right. So we go back here. We're going to want to prolong press go to again. Press enter. And we want to go to, I think I said it as car. Go back, scroll down, yeah, there we go. Car, let's do it right this time and see if that changes anything. And yeah, car is 343 meters, bearing 26 degrees, which is to the east. So yeah, the car is, the car is exactly that direction, over the hill and uh, up some, up a bunch of stairs. Now using waypoints, we can navigate our way back easy, but this tells us where ultimately we need to go. So yeah, if we start walking that way, we can actually get back to the vehicle. So if you're on the woods and you get really lost, you can uh, get an idea of where your vehicle is. Nope. I'm going to kind of start. This non-existent cameraman is sending me messages. <laughs> I'm trying to film like a goober. Like I'm going to put my phone on silent to make a video. This guy. And uh, yeah, once you got all that, that's more or less the gist of everything. That's all the locations and everything. That's kind of all you really need. Of course, they're, uh, it lets you know if you got your satellite connection how much battery you got and the battery like i said is a huge improvement the uh, 401 tended to last like a couple hours this one will actually go on for like 12 24 hours on a single charge so let's go ahead let me show you guys watch mode real quick we're not going to do night vision mode because i don't want to do anything with night vision right now enter watch mode put in watch mode bam very simple 1209 nothing too crazy turn that off and if we come over here i'm going to turn it actually turn it off real quick and as you may have noticed, this is a very bright reflective screen. Look, there's the sun right now, just for you. So of course, you don't want to be too crazy bright and stuff. So if we take this wrist strap out, like so, ugh. you know, you just got these two little metal bars and that's where we're gonna put all of our wrist stuff through. And um, if you're so inclined, I've been seeing a bunch of companies making uh, significantly larger, beefier wrist straps that make this way more comfortable to wear. This one's not bad, but I'm gonna show you. Oh boy, you're gonna like this. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? It's gone. It is lost to the annals of time. There it is. All right, cool. 
I'm doing this in one go. I'm not standing with these mosquitoes anymore. These guys, they're not cool. So we can do about this Raptor one, or what is a Raptor tactical. First of all, this is in uh, God's Plaid M81. Pop that open and bam, you got spaces for your buttons. You've got laser etched information in there that uh, even without YouTube's compression is difficult to read, but you should know your device for the most part. And if you want to jam this guy in here, this one, it's uh, pretty pretty uh, thin, as you can see. So this is going to dig into your wrist a lot. But if you're mounting it to some molly, not a huge issue. So you want to use this more for carrying on your bag and whatnot. But if we take this guy, a little ring back here, you want to pop this dude open. You got these top little covers up here. <laughs> take this guy and slide him on in there. Easy peasy. Yep, so easy. I'm not struggling with it at all. Yerp. Put the Velcro back in place. Slide that back on over. Resemble something comfortable. And then you want to finagle it to get your buttons in place. But yeah, ultimately there you go. And now you have an easy way to cover your screen. So when you're not actively crawling around through the woods, mosquito, please. <laughs> I, I should have done this in winter when the mosquitoes are still freaking in isolation and the previous generation was burning in hell all right so yeah as you can see the uh, the strap's not too much different but this one does have the uh, sharper edges for the velcro so that kind of sucks so yeah you just pop that open access your buttons check out where your current location is close that back up cool right all right so with all that taken care of we're gonna take this guy right back off oh boy it is already getting toasty out here i pop this back open, i pop this back open, I'm going to take you out. Ah, I got one final thing we got to cover before we finish. You got this dude on the back here, this is one of the cool improvements. Twist this guy, pop this open, give him a little twist, bam, battery compartment. You only need two AAA batteries. And as you can see, there is a port right there. That port is so you can, on a PC, enter all your grid coordinates and information on the uh, Garmin software and set up your route well in advance. But if you're like me and you're doing everything on the fly live, getting bit by mosquitoes, you know, as God intended, then you can uh, hand jam all that in with the buttons and it takes a lot of inputs. So a computer to make all your, you know, planning in advance. Cool idea, there is another ant on my screen. Don't you, don't you climb over that lens. Don't you climb over that lens. They're everywhere. All right, so before, um. I catch like some new type of malaria or whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and call this video if you guys like that. Cool, otherwise I'm gonna go probably somewhere indoors next time and uh, I can film a more in-depth video on all those cool mechanics. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chivalrous, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.